Beals, thanks for joining us for another SANFL report for Round 16. We saw three teams have the bye this week, and the Magpies actually headed across to Perth to take on Claremont in the semi-final of the Foxtel Cup. They did. They did indeed, yes. Um, and it was interesting. You know, it's always interesting to, to compare state versus state. Obviously, Claremont are a very good side in the Waffle Comp, and... Uh, Port are middle of the road in the SNFL and then I have the travel factor as well and Port gave them a big start but in the end it was a pretty close game and uh, yeah, probably didn't prove anything conclusively about either of the competitions but it was certainly a great experience for Port um, and, um, and Butch and Serge, a couple of our boys who went across acquitted themselves pretty well and um, yeah, as I said, it was a good experience for them. That was Butch's first game back since, uh, well, first game back in the league since overcoming a hamstring injury. What did you make of his game? Yeah, the it was, it was, I guess, uh, like a few of his league games prior to his injury, it was an almost a game again. And, and I say that in that he was, he was in the play, he was active, he was dangerous, he was a, a focal point for Port. But he was unable to cash in in front of goal and he was probably unable to catch a few of the balls he should have to make it a really, uh, you know, a standout um, dominant performance. But certainly, and if you, anyone who watched it, the commentators were quite bullish about the way he competed and the way he mo moved. Unfortunately, he, he let himself down with the finishing and, and that probably spoiled it, what could have been a very good game. Now, you've elected not to have a player of the week this week, but we have got some footage of Jared Redden performing for the Eagles. He's another player who's had a season that's been waylaid by injury, but he's now back in league level. Uh, what are you making of his game now that he's got some got some run under his, under his belt? Yeah, well, like Butch, the pleasing bit for both these guys is they're starting to get reward for their effort. It's not just luck that's getting them, um, but they've both been given feedback earlier in the year from their mates about uh, need to improve their professionalism and the, and the way they could go about their training and I guess their preparation and, and their... Uh, I guess being more proactive and being more hungry for to to get better and uh, Redo's starting to see results on the field. Uh, took six marks on the weekend, three contested marks you'll see on the vision and, and kicked a couple of goals. So what he's showing is as a ruckman he can go forward as well and, and that's going to be paramount for him because as we're seeing in the AFL, most clubs are reticent to play a second ruck that can't do something, can't have another string to his bow. How does it change your development strategy for the ruckman that we do have on the list given that in the AFL, obviously, there's the substitute rule, and that changes the way that ruckmen are being handled. But in the SANFL, it seems to be very much a, a case of still playing two ruckmen. Yeah, we, we we always you always want to develop the ruckmen, have another string to their bow. Yeah, most of the young guys, it's about being being competitive. So you work on their competitiveness, whether it be in ruck, whether it be up forward. Primarily, you're working on their ruck skills at this stage. But as as, as it goes forward, you you try and yeah, as I say, add another string to their bow so that they can be. I guess more of a force to be reckoned with and more of a, a potential threat to the opposition. Heels, thank you, John. Thanks, Wendy. Supporting up for it, and one of those is Day. Chips it over the top now towards Lewis. Lewis goes in board. He's looking for a long mark from Redden. So, Redden goes short to Day. He's at defence of 50, the former Tigers player. Played in their reserves flag a couple of years ago. Big kick towards the outer side wing. Jared took the mark.